Hi, how are you today? This presentation will show you how to publish to iTunes a book that you have created in iBooks Author. Let's assume that your book is finished and you've proofed it on your iPad and you're happy with it. It's now time to publish it. Click here and that will open uh, iTunes Producer and here is the first page of iTunes Producer. You can see at the top there are three items there, the book, the assets and the delivery. The book provides the details of your book. The assets are your book itself, a preview and any screenshots you may wish to include and delivery is the transmission of your book from your computer to iTunes store. So there's the type that we have, a book. Here is the ISBN number that you will enter and it will be shown at the top when you save it and it will be shown as an ITMSP file which is not the final type of file that will be an IBA file. The language is in English. Enter your title. If you have a subtitle, enter it. It's likely that you will be the publisher. I don't have any imprint. Here is the publication date. Here's the name of the series. There are two ebooks in the series. The length of this book is 51 pages. Pre-order pre previews will be allowed. And here's a description of the book. This is rather important because this will appear on the iTunes store. Let me show you. So there's the way I have the book description here. And here it is on the iTunes store. And you're limited in colors and so on in this. So keep it as simple as possible. Next item in the book are the categories. And this, this uh, categorization uses the BISAC uh, system, where that stands for Book Industry Standards Advisory Committee. So if we to add a category, we can click here. And the first category that I have is computers. And the subcategory that I have is educational software. You can add as many as you like. There's the primary category, and that is also shown up here. Next page, page three, the authors. In my case, it's really simple to add an author. It's myself. There are my details, and when it's being sorted, there's the name by which I want to be sorted, my surname first. And I'm the primary author. Page four are the target audiences. So you can add as many criteria as you like. And I have two, as you can see there. There's the target audience criterion, which is the interest age, and I've put down 13, 13 years and up. That's the drop down menu. And add as many as you like. Next item is related products. I don't have any related products, so nothing there. Page six are the rights and the pricing. And once again, you can add as many countries or regions as you wish. I just have three there. Later it was expanded to seven. So first of all, you add a territory from the drop down menu. You add the publication type and the publication type that I had was digital only. Then sales may start pre-order date. I don't have a physical list price, but I have a price tier in the United States, which at that time was $12.99. It's changed since then. So you have to enter price tier for every country in which it's sold. Cleared for sale, yes. We now come 
to stage two, which is called adding the assets. Really, there are three types of assets. There's the publication itself, there's the cover art, and there's the screenshots. And I'll deal with each of them in turn. Go to your computer, browse it, and choose your iBook. That is the main text. You will also have prepared a preview. So once again, upload the preview from your computer. That's the publication. The next item is the cover art. So go to your computer, browse it, and then get your cover art and drag it in. The cover art must have a minimum size along the smaller axis of 1400 pixels, and it must be in one of these formats, JPEG or PNG, and must be in RGB color. Finally, in this section, we have the screenshots. So go to screenshots, add screenshot, and do that by once again browsing your computer and choosing and dragging it in. And you can change the order of your screenshots by using those arrows. And in terms of dimensions, the screenshots must be of those dimensions. And in addition, it must be JPEG or, J, uh, or JPEG or PNG in RGB color mode and should be made on an iPad. We now come to the final stage of the process, which is the delivery of your book to the iTunes store. If everything has gone absolutely correctly, whenever you save your package as an iBooks author file and then click to deliver it, you will get this message. Your package has validated correctly and it will upload. If you're like me, you won't get this right first time and you will get some errors. So if you get this sort of uh, indication, you must fix every one of those errors before your package can be delivered. And the great moment comes when you do deliver it and you get this. Success. Your package has been delivered. Finally, let me say a little bit about availability. This is how you can obtain a copy of this book by going to books on the iTunes store and searching for mobilizing Max. Alternatively, you could paste each of these links into your browser and that will take you directly to each book. And another source of information is the website which accompanies these books or this book. And here it is. And finally, for a more general audience who do not particularly want the book, if you go to YouTube and search for Mobilizing Max, you will come to this presentation. It just remains for me to thank you for watching this presentation and goodbye. Goodbye.